Welcome to this Killick Explains video and welcome to a subject which will probably generate uh, a few comments if nothing else on this video and that is the cryptocurrency space. So I'm going to be talking about the likes of Bitcoin, the likes of Ethereum, Dogcoin and so on. Now I'm not going to go through the technicalities here, I'm just going to get straight to the chase and say that my view of these things as investments is they are non starters. I don't currently hold any and that position is unlikely to change. Now lots of people disagree with me, that's the point of a market, there are different views. So let me explain where I come from on this, why, and then go into some of those different views because I did a Twitter poll quite recently and I'd like to just run through the results of that to make the point. So problems I have with these crypto assets if I'm going to take a long-term, stress long-term, investor's view. Number one is the extreme price volatility. Now lots of assets can be volatile. Uh, shares in the short term can be volatile. Currencies can definitely be volatile. But over the long term there is a degree of price predictability and stability. If you look at long-term charts, okay, the direction of travel can be to a degree mapped. But personally I can't do that with these crypto assets. Sure, recently prices seem to have risen, some high profile names, the likes of the Elon Musk at Tesla have chipped in, uh, some of the biggest investment banks in the world, JP Morgan and so on have had a change of heart, they used to be negative now more positive and central banks are looking at the underlying technology, blockchain. So there is interest in this space for sure, but in terms of an investment, the volatility rules it out for me. It's completely unpredictable as to the timing and the extent and it can be massive swings of 15-20% in a matter of hours or days sometimes. More importantly for me to hold an investment I need some way of valuing it and the problem with crypto assets is I have no idea how to do that. Better brains than me may do and feel free to add to the thread here if you've got a way but there are no dividends, well, that's true of things like gold too, so you can't do a discounted dividend model or a version thereof. Bottom-up analysis I find impossible to do. I mean, how do you put a, a PE ratio on something with no E, if you like? Um, so I rely purely on momentum and I've never done that. Uh, people tell me, well, you've, you've got to get on board, jump on the bandwagon, but I've never been a momentum trader per se. So. On the pure, I don't really understand how to value these things. Not for me as a long-term investor. Liquidity is another problem. That is getting better and better as these things become more mainstream. We've now got exchanges, for example. Um, but in the past, that's been an issue. Um, how to convert these crypto assets back into, say, US dollars with any degree of kind of price certainty or even ability to actually transact in that way. And then there's the classification issue, and I have a problem with this too, and I'm not the only one. Regulators, HMRC are grappling with this. What are these things? Is Bitcoin a commodity? In which case, do we treat it a bit like gold? And there is a view out there that it is exactly that. Or are they currencies? And should they be treated as substitutes for things like the US dollar and sterling? Or are they securities? Are these things which should be classified like stocks and shares, regulated as such, and taxed as such. Now that is still a matter of some debate and uncertainty. Now just to make the point that uh, my view is very much my view and there will be people out there listening to this who, who don't agree with me. I ran a poll recently and the question I asked was quite simple. If you're looking at something such as Bitcoin as an investment, stress the word investment, I'm not talking about short-term punts here, I'm not talking about you know, sports betting or betting on horse races any more than I'm talking about bets on Bitcoin. But are these must-haves? 27.5% of people said yes. They regard this as a must-have asset. Now those are people who don't share my view. That's the nature of markets. OK as a side bet was 37.6% of the people who replied and that's probably closest to my personal view. Some people have a kind of fear of missing out and see these as a possible hedge against the movement in other assets I guess. So a very small proportion, you know, as little as 1% of their portfolio might be in something like Bitcoin. Not for me, but I guess that's closest to my view. 
the guaranteed way to lose money, well, that was 15.6% of people. So these are people who are not going to touch it with a barge pole. It's not even safe as a side bet, if you like. And perhaps these are people who've already experienced the roller coaster of short term volatility and got the wrong side of it. And then interestingly, nearly 20% of respondents said they couldn't comment. And that means that in this space, there might be a big education job to do at some point. A lot of people don't really fully understand how these things work, how they're created, um, uh, how they're mined and so on. And, you know, it's just fairly safe to say if you don't understand something, why would you invest in it? So I'm with those people. And there is for somebody out there a job to do to educate people, not just in crypto assets themselves, but the fascinating underlying technology called blockchain that if you want to see it this way, powers them. And just to make that distinction at the end, whilst I'm not a fan of things like Bitcoin as an investment, and that view is unlikely to change in the short term, I am interested in the underlying blockchain technology, which has applications in central banking, in the legal world, in the property world, as well as in this cryptocurrency space. So that I'll be watching with some interest, even if for the time being, I won't be putting any of my hard earned dollars into cryptocurrencies themselves. To find out more on this topic, I have done a few Killick Explains videos. So you could go to our library at killick.com forward slash learn. Uh, and for those people who are thinking crypto is not for me, but I wouldn't mind knowing a bit more about investing in general. Well, my how to invest in equities guide is out there. Uh, if you were to e email me editor at killick.com, I'll be more than happy to forward a copy. To date, I don't have an equivalent guide on crypto assets, but if there's enough demand, who knows, I might be persuaded to do one.